Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Dave's Math Channel. I'm your host, David Tear, and today I'm continuing with my series on magic squares. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how there's a method where you can, you can use to construct a magic square of any odd order you want, uh, three or greater. Uh, the smallest magic square is the order three. That's the low shoe square I talked about a couple of days ago. Uh, but you can use this method to construct either the low shoe square or uh, order five, order seven, any order you want. Um, and it's a pretty remarkable method, I think. And it's a pretty simple method. And uh, it goes by the name of the Siamese method, also known as uh, the Dula Luber method. Uh, it was actually, I think it was invented or discovered in uh, Siam. We don't even know exactly when. Uh, but the, there was a French diplomat named Simon de la Lubert. I guess he visited Siam in the 17th century or early 18th century. And he brought back this method with him to France. And so it's become known as the de la Lubert method or the Siamese method. Uh, anyway, let me describe the method to you. Uh, so here's, here's an algorithm I've written down for how to use the method. It's not a difficult method. Uh, maybe this looks a little difficult the way I've written it, but here's the idea. You, you always start for any any magic square of odd order. You, you draw an n by n square where you're gonna put all your numbers, an n by n array, if you like. You put the one, you always start with a one in the middle of the bottom row. So that's where you write the first number. You write a one in the middle of the bottom row. And then what you do is you can proceed up and to the right. So you do a two, uh, you know, diagonally up one square into the right one square, and then a three up and to the right one more square. Keep going. If you if you reach the right edge, the next number you write, you just wrap around. So then the next number will appear on the left column, but one row, uh, uh, one row above. You keep going until you get back to where you started, and and that'll take exactly n steps. The last number you're gonna write down will be uh, n. Um, and then what you do, I guess you'll be in the top row when you write n, that'll be one square to the left of the middle column. But then what you do is you go, um, um, you, you move up one square, just straight up. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think I got that right. I don't know. What did I say? Um, well, maybe it's straight down. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, directly above. There's different ways you can do this, but... Uh, the way I've written this uh, algorithm, you, you go you go one square above, and then that's where you write uh, um, the next number, which I guess in the case of uh, three by three would be four, uh, or in the case of seven by seven would be eight. It's just uh, n plus one, and then you proceed the same way you did the last n numbers. You you keep going up and to the right, keep writing the next number, and uh, keep going until you get to two n, and then you keep repeating this process. Uh, once you get to a multiple of n, you move straight up for your next uh, for your next number, and you keep doing it like that the whole way. And when you're done, you'll you'll be left with a magic square, a order n magic square. I'm not going to prove that, but uh, it's not that hard to prove actually. Uh, maybe you guys can prove it yourself if you feel ambitious, but Anyway, that's the method, and uh, I'll give you an example. I'll give you some examples. Here's a nice animation. So this this method, I guess they don't do it exactly the way I said because they're starting on the top instead of the bottom. But notice they went until here. They're just doing it backwards. They're uh, they're going up and to the right, but they're they're moving down instead of up when they get to the 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 end of the group of three. And when they're done, uh, lo and behold, look, you've got the magic uh, low shoe square, or at least one. Uh, version of it. So that's how it works for three by three. And if you do seven by seven, you'll get you'll get this or something like it. Uh, I guess it doesn't exactly matter where you start. I mean, here they're they're not starting on the bottom row. They're starting one square below the 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 middle. And I guess you don't have to go one square up when you're done with a group of uh, n seven in this case. Here they're going two squares down. Um, I don't think it really matters how many squares up or down you go when you're done with a group of n. I think you're still going to get a magic square. And there's a lot of magic squares. I think I mentioned this in my last video. Uh, there's only one magic square of order three. That's the low shoe square to rotations and reflections. There's 880 
of order four. I don't even know how many there are of order five in the millions, I think. Probably in the trillions for order seven. So they're, you know, they're not that hard to get, but this is a nice method for getting them. And, uh, you know, here's, here's the, what you get for order three, order five, and order nine. So you can do whatever order you want. And uh, I just think it's a nice method. And uh, um, anyway, that's my that's my video for today on uh, how to construct magic squares of odd order. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Long live math, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.